What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're still over here at Mike's Garage. This is actually day number two. Came over here last night, worked on mine. He was working on his car. Uh, got the harmonic balancer on mine tonight. That's really, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got being done on mine tonight. I uh, made a mistake. I ordered a small block Chevrolet timing pointer. I mean, I got a big block Chevrolet now. So uh, it is what it is. So uh, we're stopped on that one, but now we're working on Mike's hot rod. Let me show you what we did to get the nitrous to work on this thing. Comment, like, and subscribe. If y'all want to support the channel, go buy some hats and t-shirts, turbojohnracing.com. Appreciate it, guys. Check it out. All right, Mike, what do you think? We got it figured out? Yeah. Kind of, sort of. So we, we, we're recording at the tail end now. So I've been over here for a couple hours, and we've been playing with it. So our plan was to use the, the inputs and outputs and run the solenoids, but there, there's a little slight problem. We were going to utilize the nitrous ICF, but when we started looking, the nitrous ICF, when you click the nitrous ICF and it comes in here, he's got this CAN bus adapter that adds, he's got the Holly HP. The CAN bus adapter adds, what did it say? Eight inputs and eight outputs. No, four, yeah, eight inputs, eight outputs. Okay, so that adds a lot, but when you read the fine print, it does add eight inputs and outputs, but they're not usable from what we can tell with your normal ICF up here. Unless somebody knows a way to uh, get it to where you, you uh, either add something to the Holly, you know, a different configuration or something that tells the software, use the CAN bus. Right, but from what we can tell, that is not possible. And by what I mean when I say it's not possible, like when we click open the nitrous ICF or the boost ICF, any of this stuff, when we open pin map here, in the pin map, it would put our nitrous stuff up here. So we'd have input and output, and you see all his inputs are utilized here. The outputs is the problem. So you see he's got two solenoids. There's three solenoids down there now. The shifter one is in use, and so is the trans brake one over there, the way he's got this thing wired up. And it works good. But the problem is, is we needed another negative to, to run the small wire, basically. What happens is you got the orange wire goes straight to the battery, and then the blue wire goes up to the solenoids up there. And so the little wire is the trigger wire for the solid state relay. So it has to have either a pulse width negative ground or just a solid ground if you just want it to instantly come on. And so when you're in the, the nitrous ICS, there's no CAN bus. If CAN bus populated right here, then it wouldn't be a problem. It would be super, super easy. To, to jump in here. But from what we can tell, it is not. It does not populate. There's no way that we can figure out how to make it populate. So what we ended up doing, we uh, went and we created another output. So basically we're not gonna have a nitrous arm now, uh, not through the holly. He's gonna have a manual arm uh, for the nitrous up there on his switch panel. So when you're doing a burnout and stuff, that'll just be off. When you start to go make a pass, then you'll flip that on, and now the nitrous is armed. So that's actually what sends the, the power to the orange wire. So straight from the battery through the arming switch to the relay. So now the relay is just waiting for signal from the holly to come and turn on. And so what we did, uh, we went in here, created a new output. We called it a nitrous solenoid, and then we went can pulse width minus, so it is going to pulse. And you see this is on your uh, CAN input output harness uh, number nine uh, is what that is, that's pin number nine. And it's actually, it's a little confusing. You have to be careful when you're playing with the pins. Um, so this is when I hit configure, it comes up. So we got it coming in at trans brake launch at input release and TPS above 90%. And then it's going to come on. Uh, we do have a, a timer delay on it right now at 1.5 seconds. And then uh, when you're setting up this in the CAN up here, so this CAN ID is actually the number on the CAN adapter. Um, broadcast rate is one hertz. I don't know who come up with one hertz, but that, that is working. <laughs> the CAN bus number one is the actual connector you're in. And you see that that pin number nine is output number three. Uh, so what we did on the pulse width minus uh, or modulation setup, uh, fixed frequency is 10 and we turn it to duty cycle because we want this thing to, to duty cycle on. We're using time on the bottom of the X, uh, the bottom of the axis here on the X 
and then we're gonna use TPS over here on the side. And basically, when this thing is zero, that means this is not going to work at all. So if he pedals the car, turns the car off, then this is uh, going to be down here in zero, which we were just talking, um, you know, in the nitrous ICF, you can make it like, you can make it come back on. Right. But we, we were kind of discussing, if you have to pedal the car, then it might be a good thing if the nitrous stays off. Stays off. So, uh, you know, that might not be a bad thing. So uh, basically you gotta be above 80% throttle. And then at one second it hits 10%. And then 50% and then 100%. And I've got it in there at seven and a half seconds, which seven and a half seconds is not going to make it that far. Uh, but when the, the throttle chops below, you know, 90% or 80% is where this is going to turn off. So let's, let's show you real fast that it works. So I'm going to go under here, under at the engine. I'm going to go wide open throttle and hold this. And then he's going to go and let go of the trans brake. And as I hold it at wide open throttle, you'll hear these trans brakes uh, that are going to click. It's wide open right now. It'll click to turn off. It did not turn off. Did it go through the cycle already? Wait a minute. Pretty sure it went all the way through. It picked up after I, a certain point. I, it should have been, it should have waited to, it should have stayed on for seven and a half seconds there. Okay. Well, now I can't compare it. I should have, we should have heard it. We definitely heard it click and then we heard it go to 100%, but at seven and a half seconds, it should have turned off. Um, maybe I didn't hold it seven and a half seconds. Okay, let's. Why can I, am I not connecting here? All right, hold on. All right, guys. Well, as like always, ECU stuff is fun. Uh, we got a Windows update, and it said, uh, you're going to do the update now, uh, or we ain't playing no more. So, uh, <laughs> right? Ain't that what it said? That's what it did. That's what it said. So, um, I was going to show you all in there, too. We'll do an advanced table, and on that advanced table is we will add fuel when this nitrous output is enabled through an advanced table. Uh, so, it'll be good. Okay. So, um, also, we just figured out why this solenoid is staying on the whole time because the way I did the table at the end, seven and a half seconds, I was like, okay, it's going to stop. But, no, that's an infinite loop. It goes on forever at 100%. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. The far right column, all the way up and down, should be zeros. So at seven and a half seconds, if they're all zeros, it will turn off. So uh, solenoid got kind of warm over there. It's still working though, but we got the test light here. He's gonna go wide open throttle. I'm gonna hit the trans brake, and then watch what happens. You can see it pulls really good here. That's gonna pulse in about a second and a half. Nitrous is not on. So, so, so this is what we've been doing for the last 30 minutes as the computer's been trying to go we've been going back and forth back and forth reset the computer okay here we go second half it's going to progress it there's the progressing and then it's on solid and we're going to redo that map but when he lets off it goes below 90 percent it turns off so we have the nitrous solenoid so it is now working the key thing is though, we won't add fuel. We're gonna add, we're gonna do a second and a half delay. We're gonna ramp it in and we'll see what happens uh, with a hundred shot. And I think we'll be good to go. So now all we're waiting on- uh, The blower and- where, Yeah, where is the blower? It was supposed to be here today. Uh, lost in Nightdale. Lot, uh, everything. <laughs> and I'm sure the box is gonna be destroyed when it gets here. Uh, I promise you <laughs> that when the box shows up, if it looked like it got kicked down 10 flights of stairs, I will call Pro Charger. I will not open the box. All right, send it back. I will take a picture of it and say, this is how it was delivered. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to take it out of the box and run it, or you want me to send it back so you can look at it again? And that's how, the last time it came, it actually was, the box was in good shape, but the time before that, the box looked like it got destroyed. Yeah, like they drop kicked it out, you know, or, or rolled it out of the truck. And it, it was supposed to be here today, and then it got a delivery exception, and now they have no idea where it's at. Is some is somewhere no, no. so mike may he may not be racing this weekend after all but oh, i gave up now but <laughs> so he's still got a lot to do so um but just getting that stuff on but we are uh good to go but anyway that's how we put nitrous on a efi car and we're not using the nitrous controller comment like and subscribe see y'all later